me moving And that's just how I do it all So fucking cool here with Coco, man. How you doing, brother? Yeah, man. Shit, having a blast. Uh, 11 day of the tour. You know what I'm saying? I can't, can't really complain, man. You know, I'm just out here grinding it out, man. You very, know, very cool, all the fans cool. being very supportive and everything. Now you're speaking about being on this tour right here, and it's to promote your new release, and that is the Pre Trap. Yeah, that's called the Pre Trap tape. Uh, includes eight tracks. Uh, formerly produced uh, on there is uh, more like of uh, DJ Paul, okay. K Trap, and just a lot of good good producers out there that are upcoming as well as already known. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. Yep. Yeah. Uh, how did you hook up with DJ Paul? Uh, the way I hooked up with DJ Paul, uh, me and my partner Sean. Uh, Sean Alasquaga, uh, basically we were walking out of a meeting with somebody else that day uh, in Hollywood and uh, we were just driving down Hollywood basically going back home and all that and uh, I saw him at a tattoo shop and I told my buddy to, you know what I'm saying, bang a turn, you know I had a, couple, I had a CD right. on me with some music and I walked up to him and it was like, you know, from the jump already man, it was like straight good vibe contact, dog. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. I mean that's going to be a good feeling too, it's just being able to say here, here's my shit and someone be like, you know what, put yeah, me uh, down right away. Exactly and I'm not even going to lie. Uh, it wasn't even that I knew uh, really a lot because the way I knew about 36 Mafia just to cut a shirt was uh, Project Pat. It's always I don't know why it was always I really didn't really know about DJ Paul. The only reason why I recognize him right. because at that time they had that show Hollywood. Oh yeah. I don't know if you remember that MTV yeah, series Hollywood. So I remember seeing him a lot on TV out here. So when I seen him, I'm like, you know what? Let me approach him. I, I heard that he won an Oscar and uh, what was it? An Oscar show? Yeah, yeah Oscar, Oscar, yeah, Oscar, you know what I'm saying, for the hustle and flow, for the soundtrack, so, you know, it, you know, it's probably could be a good contact. Yeah, for sure, yeah. man. Yeah. Uh, that's a pretty sweet story. Yeah. Just, just the, the whole come up, how it all worked out for you. And that's God, so God's good. God, yeah, for sure. God's great, yeah. Now, for people that want to get in touch with you, they want to find out more about you, they want to know everything. What's the best way? Uh, the best way right now that you could contact me through uh, uh, through like the websites and you know all the social medias mm -hmm. uh, is gonna be Facebook, which is uh, Facebook backslash K O K O E M U S I C music Coco music. Okay. You can find me that way, or I'm on Instagram as well. You could uh, actually the Instagram is always run by like two other people, so you know you could uh, just hit me up on my email, which is uh, Coco Beats at gmail dot com. Okay. Okay. K-O-K-O-E-B-E-A-T-S at gmail.com. Now, with the mixtape coming out next week, how's that work? Is it going to be in iTunes? Are you giving it away? Oh, uh, well, being that it's uh, our, our first release, we're actually just giving it away. Very cool. It's probably re reintroducing everybody to some of the music that I had with Paul already previously, like mm -hmm. maybe a year ago. But we have videos, visuals to them. You know, plus, of course, the the whole uh, reintroduction of who am I. Like, oh, with all the fans that I've developed right, from right. the time that I dropped that to now, it's picked up. So a lot of people don't know that I already had previous tracks with him before I started this you know I met him maybe it was uh, four years ago okay and we, we just came so far and now I'm on tour with him and we developed a pre trap tape and which is followed by the uh, official trap tape volume one all right which is a series of three volumes you know what I'm saying that we're doing it but that's just the introduction of who I am the pre trap tape that's what that is very sweet yeah yeah now you're coming up in a great time of music I mean it, it's different like years ago you had to go out you had to sell tickets you had you had MTV, you had all yeah. that shit. Move you know I mean? CDs from the trunk and all that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like you, you, your shit's free. You download it, boom. Yeah. A chance to get it out there, and it's just for for this time and age, it's got to be a good feeling to be a new artist. Yeah, it's all, it's only appropriate because you know coming up, you know there's like a lot of rappers already. There's a lot of musicians. There's a lot of artists coming up, you know. But again, there's not a lot of people that get in contact with people like DJ Paul and have the relationship that they have with somebody that's already established as a legend. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then. Just being on top that, you know, like with the whole racial contract that he's black and I'm Mexican, right. you know, it's always been tension in LA where I'm from with like the blacks and the Mexicans, you know, but at the end of the day, all the hoods in LA always revolve around, you got, you know, your whites and you got your Mexicans and you got your blacks and you got, you know, every, every race, a little that's ghetto. So that I, I was already accustomed to that, but you know, there's always been that tension there. So when me and Paul hooked up, it was always about trying to, bring unity more than just selling records and making music that's going to turn up the club it was all more about showing the world about unity right. that's how we started off this whole project very cool man yeah 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 that's very cool yep yep 
Now, is this your first big tour? Is this uh, the first for you, or just yeah, did, shit before? Uh, well, I've been on numerous like uh, tour acts, and you know what I'm saying. Uh, you know, one of my first big acts was uh, with uh, the legendary group Bone Thugs and Harmony. Okay. And you know, uh, shouts out to Steve LaBelle. We working always um, for him for putting me on that, and also Sean and SNL Entertainment. Uh, but this is actually yes, one of my biggest tours. Today, yeah, this is this this has been like a, one of those historic moments in my career, right? Where I'm independent and I'm nobody. I'm not. I'm not even really signed to anybody as at this moment. I'm under just DJ Paul's production. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And uh, basically, that's run by Skeleton. Now, yeah. do you ever think you're gonna sign officially with them, or you're gonna keep? Them uh, well, as of right now, I mean, I can't really like point fingers at what I'm doing yet, cause it's, there hasn't been anything on paper, right, as right. formerly with lawyers and contracts. So as of right now, I'm just saying, like right now, I'm just like that artist that maybe Kendrick Lamar was, and uh, maybe what was the game came out 2003? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if you remember that Kendrick Lamar was already there. Right. He was just like waiting for his time, and that's where I'm at right now. I'm just like, you know, I'm in the background waiting for that good moment to, to happen. It's when when everything turns around in hip hop, that's that's the thing about hip hop that I see it that it's something like school. Like you know, you go to school and you develop a time that you know that you're gonna graduate and you're gonna become something somebody bigger than you are already. Right. So this game goes like that, but you don't really know when it's gonna be that time that you're gonna blow up and you have that song that everybody's hypnotized to and they they normally start enjoying your voice because you know like that's how every artist is. That's how they come up. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. Are you saying this being like school? Do you, do you learn anything from Paul on the road? I mean, this is a whole new experience for you. So, I mean, it's a, something you're uh, picking up, Man, doing, watching in the background. You know what I mean? Dude, I'm just, like, so blessed to be a part of this tour. Like, sometimes I, like... I, it, it, I'm not gonna lie, man. Uh, you know, I got I got a family, you know, back right. home, and you know, it, sometimes it develops. You have a uh, not saying stress, but you have like more of like, damn, man, where's my how my baby's doing? Oh, so yeah. it's just that the experience and everything always comes into like a big ball, and you're like, damn, dude, this is really happening. Right, right. And then you start developing like, damn, you know what? My daughters are gonna be actually happy. They're gonna be proud of me yeah, someday. You know, if I keep sure. developing this move. But of course, you know, the, the experience that I learned from Paul, I learned a lot from him, you know, from, you know, the hard work, you know, the getting up, fucking going to sound check, meeting the fans, you know, keeping up with everybody, you know what I'm saying? These last couple of days, I just need a rest from everything. I ain't gonna lie, right. man, it's barely my seventh day, but for a person that never been on tour, like, you start developing this way of like, damn, dog, this is gonna happen for the next 70 days. Yeah, for sure. Damn. See, people think that this is a big fucking, like, hangout. Like, it's yeah. like work, man. You're like, you gotta get up. You gotta go and fucking set your shit up. You gotta do your sound check. Yeah. You may be going city to city, but exactly. you know what? I guarantee you, you didn't see shit around this yeah. area. You know what I mean? Because exactly. you, you don't have the time. Yeah, exactly. Like, I know that that shit might look like Project X on the videos y'all see on YouTube because that's how we do it for y'all. That's how we, you know what I'm saying? We try to show y'all the quality of our, our music and our visual with in the media so that's why we turned up but in, in the whole background man y'all know we really like we, we we do more than sweat and tears man for, for all the fans so uh, but we still salute y'all because y'all are part of the reason why we're here you know what i'm saying expressing the whole music vibe to everybody else in this world and this man, is gonna man. be a, it's a pretty hectic tour i mean this is only day 11 for you guys day 11 man and you got what two three more months on the road right yeah and then i heard that we just added more shows so it's just like it's, it's a blessing to see that happen and, but it's just hard work, man. Hard work and the dedication to this game, man. You got to sacrifice a whole lot. So all you artists out there that are watching me, you know what I'm saying, come up and, you know what I'm saying, saying that I'm lucky, man. I ain't lucky. I'm more than blessed, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, I done been in the hood and been gunned down almost and almost lost my life to be able to, you know what I'm saying, to travel around, you know what I'm saying, the United States. It's like, it's a blessing, bro. It's a oh, blessing, sure, you know what I'm saying? So salute everybody that had a part, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, cool as fuck right here, man. We already chilling. Now, one more time, people want to check you out. The best way to go is? Uh, again, you can find me uh, on my Instagram, which is K-O-K-O-E uh, underscore L-O-C-O. -O, or you can also find me at Twitter, which is Young Coco, Y-O-U-N-G-K-O-K-O-E. Find me uh, through, through everything, basically. Just Google K-O-K-O-E, and you'll find me. All my videos on YouTube and uh, also on DJ Paul, K-O-M dot TV. That's another website you can find me okay. on. So I'm all, all over through there. Perfect. Yep. And the release is? The release is also coming this week. We're going to have the pre-trap tape, which is uh, future. A lot of songs that we did uh, maybe 
within a couple of months that I met Paul, you know what I'm saying, all the new releases that people have not heard, all my videos on YouTube. Also, we're going to do a DVD with all the HD videos on there, you know what I'm saying? Shouts out all the uh, directors from the videos, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of them that I fuck with, so y'all already know who y'all are. No hard feelings on me. I salute y'all. And, uh, well, next week, man, we could we could already announce that the pre-trap is going to be out everywhere in the streets, man, on uh, every website uh, that you can find, download mixtapes. You're going to find that trap pre-trap tape on there. Perfect, man. Yep, yep. Perfect. All right, dude. I appreciate your time. Thank you very much as well. You doing big things. I checked yep. you out today, and it was fucking banging. So. Thank you very much, bro. Thank if you, you very much. Haven't seen him yet. Up and coming. Check him out now. He's gonna be the next big thing. Yeah, y'all already know Coco. We in the house right now, man. Thank you for that good, man. <laughs>